get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Coogan Cassius IFL TV and Association Matt Lynch, Jim Marbar at the Hay Billy press conference with me. I've got trainer Shane McQuiggan. Well, that was fun. You, <laughs> you were relatively quiet in that. I think everyone was quiet apart from uh, those two and a little bit from Herm. No, he's a bit, didn't he? Eddie, Eddie bit a little bit, but no, it was it was a laugh anyway. I'd say that much. I was I could have gone either two ways. It could have been, you know, just them two biting at each other, or we could have taken out a team. And I think that's uh, David did his, you know, did his, did his research and sort of ticked the boxes. To be honest, I was kind of expecting if it was going to get heated, I thought it was going to be through uh, David reacting to Tony. But yeah. today, I think David had it in his head. He wanted to get a lot of things off his chest. First of all. There was an astonishing attack on Matchroom and Eddie Hearn yeah. uh, from David. Is that something that's been building up through the negotiations or just something David wanted to get off his chest? Well, David can speak for himself, but I think he's enough speaking in there. You know, I think the, he's got a point. You know, he's got a point. Eddie, Eddie is a good promoter, don't get me wrong. He's doing great things for British boxing, but you know, he is jumping in front of his stars and some of them have got personalities and, and they're entertaining their, in their own right. You don't need... Um, Eddie to jump in and sort of speak his voice and, and, and steal the show and I think you know that's something he has been doing and he you know so David he took him out for that one Jesus I was, I was more surprised about that not the fact that they nearly come to blows at the end none of that just that five minute attack on Eddie was great and but he bit he bit didn't he and you know what you, you, you're Eddie you don't need to prove yourself and he still bit, and that's the that's the worrying factor for him. He's, um, you know, he bit he bit at the ego. That's the thing. Um, Tony says, Eddie says, David's taking this fight because he has no money. Why, in your opinion, is David taking this fight? He's taking it because it's the best fight for him at this um, at this stage. You know, like everyone wants to see David in in a in a real fight, and I think you know Tony's on good form, looking good. Um, not at David's level, but I tell you what, he's proved some people wrong recently. So, and he's out there. He wants to take that one step further. But it's, a, it's a step too far, I believe. But um, it's good. You know, it's a good step for us at the same time because none of these heavyweights want to mix it unless it's for massive paydays. And this, this is a, this is a, it's a big fight, sold out in minutes, and I think it's going to do some pretty good pay-per-view numbers. And there's a genuine heat between the two teams, not just the two fighters of teams. Yeah, I think that's very relevant. The teams, more, uh, not more so, but as equally as obviously the two, yeah. the two fighters. Um, obviously, we've seen David in the past get emotionally involved in fights. I saw a fight probably the last time that happened yeah. um, four years ago. But is there a, a danger that he becomes a bit too emotionally involved in the fight, in, in the build-up more so? No, um, he's the kind of guy that literally can just turn it on. Like he's in the change rooms, he's laughing, joking in the change rooms, and turns on. You know, with me obviously training him, we haven't had, we haven't been challenged yet, and this is the first time we're going to get our teeth stuck into a genuine fight. And um, you know, there is the questions: how, you know, what's left in the tank? He hasn't shown a lot recently in terms of the, you know, he didn't he didn't get asked questions by those two previous opponents. I don't believe Tony Bell is going to ask him questions. It's going to be a shootout, and I think uh, Tony Bell is going to be lying. As he says, un you know, David says he's going to be lying unconscious, and I have to agree with him on that one. And um, I'm looking forward to it. It's a long way, but I tell you what, creep up quick. It will. I think as soon as uh, Christmas is out of the way, I think that all that yeah. three months or whatever. Well, it won't be three months after then. It'll be less than that. Yeah. Uh, it will creep up quickly. But um, I mean, listen, boxing is a selling sport. I suppose it was. <laughs> Kind of sold here today, but they've they've had this thing for a little while now. Anyway, it's kind of it's been genuine. Yeah, you know I mean, you see, you see some certain press conferences and that like this is genuine like animosity, as I said, just between the two teams. You know, obviously with um, Frampton Quig, uh, you saw myself and my dad, and, and obviously Frampton not liking the matchroom matchroom side, and here we are again. But same same decision is going to happen. We're going to win. We have got the better fighters. Yeah, you seem to be the common denominator in these press conferences. Where but I don't say a lot, but <laughs> no, no, I just rile them up. 
Because those press conferences with Frampton Quigg were three of the best. I mean, back-to-back -back press conferences, I think, have been in a long time. Um, do you know what the difference was? The last week, they didn't bite at each other because they're both making weight. Frampton Quigg, you know, they're obviously like, it's their first, it was their first time being on a pay-per-view show. Like David doesn't have to make weight. <laughs> That's another thing that should have been in the contract from Eddie's side, but he didn't care. As he says, he wanted just his name on one side of the poster, nice and first. But, you know, we don't have to make weight. So last week at camp, they're going to be fresh. They're going to be like riled up and ready for it and just ready to fight literally on the spot. Whereas guys that are making weight, you know, this, those last few days are just down in the dumps and just getting getting through it so they can weigh in, rehydrate, and then they become themselves again. So I think the last week press conference is going to be fun as well, mate. Can't wait. Anyway, you're off to LA now for LA, uh, the second leg flight. of the press conference for Frampton and yeah. Santa Cruz. So. <sighs> Looking forward to it. That That's not the same sort of level of uh, press conference. It's two respectful guys, completely different sort of... Um, press conference but at the same time it's, it's good for the sport both of them so I'm excited to be involved definitely all right Shane thanks for giving us a little bit of time uh, safe flight to LA and uh, we'll catch up with you soon appreciate it mate cheers mate